Our program was almost 25 years old when we had our first crash with fatalities. We lost Craig and Mario, but we were so thankful Stein had survived. We met right away as an organization, but we still had lots of questions. Couldn't talk to Stein because he had no memory and was still in the ICU. We were frustrated, even angry, but we were committed to make sure every transport we did was safe. Almost six months later, my shift started out as normal. We were dispatched to a scene. No problems, we did our job without a hitch. The dehydrated hiker was hoisted to safety and released to a waiting ambulance. Brent said he wanted to return to the area where we had just hoisted to get an altitude reading. We were on our way when there was suddenly a loud noise, followed by spinning. It felt like a roller coaster ride. And then we hit the ground and slid down the mountain. My immediate reaction was to get out of the helicopter and then to check on my colleagues. Brian was injured, but alive. Brent, the pilot, was dead. I could see that. Help came and we were transported to the hospital. People immediately wanted to talk to me. First the ED physician, Life Flight administrators, my family and friends. I didn't have time to cry. Everyone wanted to know the details. What I really needed was to talk to my colleagues. They needed to know what happened. Most important, I wanted them to know I still had faith in our organization. It was a long week, lots of tears, and of course questions. After hours of searching the mountain, by the end of the week, we found the mechanical piece that failed. We are a unique community. We know about each other. Divorces, marriages, new babies, raising children. We listen in times of frustration, sadness, and happiness. We irritate and criticize, and we grow old together. We love each other. And when it counts, we help each other when things are down. I flew my scheduled shift the next week and continued for another 10 years.